All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to build friendships when you're alone. A lot of guys get alone in their marriages because their entire life is wrapped up around their business, their wife, and their children. And sometimes they'll have church in there as well. And so they don't have a lot of time for friendships. Dealing with a rocky marriage and a business, that pretty much takes up all your fucking time, especially with your kids. And so that's what we call the trifecta of insanity, business, marriage, and kids. Trying to do all three of these things at once is insane. There's not enough time, there's not enough mental bandwidth, there's not enough emotional bandwidth to just make all of these happy. What men do is they'll go after one of these things to the detriment of the other two. They either focus on their wife to detriment of their kids and their, mostly their business, or they focus on their kids to detriment of their wife and their business, or they focus on their business to detriment of everything else. And so in this video, you're probably, if you're watching this, you're probably having a hard time making friends. Or maybe you went through a divorce, maybe you went through a breakup, and you find yourself in a lonely house, empty, missing of furniture, missing of pictures on the wall, and you're like, what do I do in this cavernous, big-ass fucking house that I bought for her and the kids, and now I'm here by myself? Well, my friend, it's time to fill it up with friends and parties and having a great fucking time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some great friends that last and that actually care about you, care about your situation, and let's fucking go. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program, and that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. If you're running a business, you think that you don't really need anybody else. You just have your wife, you just have your kids, and you got your business. That's all you really need. But the fact is, is you need more than that. In fact, you need guys you're proud to hang out with. On this wall over here, I have one of my seven tenets, which is, I am proud of my tribe. In other words, I don't just hang out with Bud Light Bill down at the bar. I hang out with guys who are doing big shit. Guys that I can look up to, guys that are peers with me. Because if I go and I hang out with Bud Light Bill down at the bar, I'm going to hear about complaining. I'm going to hear about how he's just drowned himself in alcohol. I'm going to hear about how his wife doesn't like him. And I'm going to hear about all this bullshit that just does not help me. So you want to definitely associate with guys that really get you, can understand your position in life. Especially if you're a business owner, you need to be hanging out with other business owners. They're the only ones who can understand the crazy trifecta of insanity, which is your wife, your kids, and your business. They need to be able to help you out, to be able to support you. And if you don't trust them, if you don't really look up to them, you're not going to be able to open up and be vulnerable with these guys. Because you're going to say, yeah, what the fuck do you know? And the thing is, you'd be right. Because Bud Light Bill down at the bar doesn't know what the fuck's going on with you, nor could he relate. And so you have to be with guys that you can actually relate to. So go find guys that are doing big shit like you are. And just realize it's going to take some time to cultivate these relationships. And the best way to do it is just be your open, authentic self. And what I mean by that is all your quirks, all your idiosyncrasies, all the interesting things about you is the things they need to see. You expressing yourself unapologetically is the way to go. If you're just plastic guy and you're too worried to express yourself, too worried to make a joke, too worried to open up and talk about what's interesting to you, then they'll have nothing to latch on to. See, we as humans, we latch on to the interesting things about people, the unique things, the quirks, the idiosyncrasies. That's what makes somebody interesting. Not this guy who's like, hey, what's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Like, that is so boring that there's nothing to latch on to. There's nothing cool and interesting about this guy. And so you don't have to try to be overly interesting. Just be yourself. Be yourself. And then the people who like you are going to gravitate towards you. They're going to gravitate towards that guy who's authentic. Your authentic self, it's the same in business, it's the same in dating, is the thing that people want from you. They don't want this plastic guy who's afraid of conflict, afraid of expressing himself. They're like, I don't want to hang out with that guy. He's boring. I want to hang out with the weird, crazy guy. That guy's interesting. That guy's got something going on, he's intelligent, I, I can hear things, I can have good conversation with him. You can find these guys in places where you can have shared experiences. This is where like the tribe and Broken and Badass comes, or the tribe of Genuine Attraction and my higher level council guys. Because this is where guys come together that are doing big level shit and who have a commonality of being cheated on in their relationship or a failing marriage. And so these guys come together and have this amazing support network and they boost each other up. Boom. They are the content of the group and it's not me. I may be there to help guide and help push these guys towards their impossible games, but for, for them, the tribe is for them. 
right? This studio here, I built it for them because this is so critically important, especially guys who are in this kind of situation where their relationship's falling apart and they put all their time and energy into their business. They find that they have nothing going on outside of their kids and their business. And the thing is, is you have to be able to take time away from your business. You have to take time away from being with your kids and get re-centered with guys who can boost you up and show you what the fuck you can do. Show you who the fuck you can be. If you're not with these kind of guys that are exciting you about life and showing you about what's possible, you're missing out massively in your own internal power game. If you want to accelerate in your life, you've got to be around other guys that help you want to accelerate, inspire you, make you kick yourself in the ass because you didn't perform. Like, fuck, that guy did it. Why aren't I? It's embarrassing being in the room with him. That's the perfect place to be. When you step into this room, this studio, and these desks here, I want you to feel like the dumbest motherfucker in the room. Why? Because I know that's the place you're going to grow the most. If you feel like you're the dumbest motherfucker in this room, I've won. Why? Because you're going to grow massively, which is why you come here. And so we want you to have a situation where you're with guys that you feel like are at your level or above. Now, I've been in these kind of rooms, and it is nerve-wracking at first. And then you find out that you're just like all these guys. You're not the dumbest guy. You're just not associate. You're just not used to being around a lot of smart guys who do big shit. And so this is exactly what we need for you, because what you're going to find out in this kind of a room is a kind of power that you could never get inside of a marriage. In fact, this kind of power that you get here will absolutely accelerate your relationships and your ability to be a father going forward. All right, so what kind of things can you do to make some of these friends? Well, you can go to support groups like a Genuine Attraction, or you can go to like meetups around town. You can go to networking events, places where guys are doing things that you like. You can go on trips vacations, trips around the world, like maybe go to Peru or something with other guys. You can even do plant medicine experiences. I found that there are elite level plant medicine experiences that you can be a part of that just cater to guys like you. Imagine the kind of connection you get there. Or you could join like my council. You'd have to go through the main Broken to Badass program before that would be open to you. Then you'd be part of another elite group of men there. There are other kinds of groups that you can be a part of. There's other men's groups that you can go be a part of that have these elite experiences. And you should certainly join one of these. Because you being part of a group of elite men will absolutely skyrocket you. You just got to be with guys that are like you, doing big dick shit like you are. If you're one of these guys that are in like a painful situation, maybe your wife cheated on you, maybe she left and it's not really telling you why, maybe you cheated on her, maybe you're just in a sexless marriage and you need to have other guys, a good support network of guys that can help you out, click the link in the description below and check out what we do here at Genuine Attraction. You know, oftentimes guys get in this situation with their woman where she becomes everything to him. He doesn't have any friends outside of his relationship. And if it's a toxic relationship, if she's narcissistic, she's going to isolate the man from these people. Why? Because they give him power and perspective outside of her. And if she's manipulative, she doesn't want him to have power and perspective outside her. She wants him more and more reliant on her for her own security. And she'll end up eventually treating him like a workhorse. But if you're in a situation where you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like you need more friends and stuff, you have to absolutely get out there and make them. It can be scary at first, but you will get something out of having an elite group of men or other men that are like you that you're never going to get outside of a relationship. And if you've lost your friends, if you've given them up before, you will never do that again because you now feel the consequence of allowing these things to degrade. So if you are in need of some help in your relationship, you're falling apart, like your wife cheated on you specifically, it's like 90% of what we deal with is guys whose wives have absolutely cheated on them. We know the game plan. In fact, we know her better than she knows herself. We can predict to the day in the action what she's going to do before she even realizes herself. Why? Because we've got the pattern. We fucking know this game better than anybody. So if your wife is cheating on you, you want to see what to do, either reconcile or move on even faster, click the link in the description below, join the Broken a Badass program, and I cannot wait to see you inside.